capsule are meaning of treasury management, financial risk management, cash management, loans and investment management, understand how treasury function is organized, learn about various treasury management systems, benefits of treasury management. Treasury management. Treasury management includes management of an enterprise's holdings, cash and working capital with the ultimate goal of managing the firm's liquidity and mitigating its operational, financial and reputational risk. Treasury management provides greater insight and control over complex processes for managing funding, liquidity and risk. Until recently, large banks had the stronghold on the provision of treasury management, products and services. However, large corporations are increasingly building in-house treasury management functions, hiring seasoned treasury management professionals and using independent treasury management systems that allow enterprises to conduct treasury management internally. The terms Treasury management and cash management are sometimes used interchangeably while in fact the scope of treasury management is larger and includes funding and investment activities as well. Treasury management Why do we need treasury management? With the ever increasing pace of change to regulation, compliance and technology in the financial sector Treasury has increasingly become a strategic business partner across all areas of the business adding value to the operating divisions of the company. Now Treasury management has evolved as a specialized function managing activities that were traditionally carried out within the general finance function. Some of the reasons for this change are rise of conglomerates. They have complex operating structures having mul multiple subsidiaries, cross-border joint ventures and many legal entities that make having an enterprise view a mammoth task. Globalization. These conglomerates have their operations spanning multiple countries and they are exposed to many types of financial and currency risks. International markets are known for its competitiveness where the dynamics change very fast. Regulations are changing very fast. Compliance requirements are becoming stringent and business practices more sophisticated over time. Technology. Now we have specialized skill set expert in treasury management available supported by world class treasury management systems. Let us now understand functions of treasury management. Treasury management has become a specialized function and in today's context treasuries are expected to perform following critical functions. Financial risk management. Financial risk management is aimed at significantly reducing financial risks which includes currency risk management, commodity price risk management, interest rate risk management and other market risks in management. This is necessary to keep business margins insulated from market volatility. This is aimed at planning, controlling and monitoring the market risk a company is exposed to. This also takes care of managing regulatory compliance related aspects. Cash management. On the other hand, the financial cash management is focused on managing collections and disbursements optimizing cash flows, cash pooling across enterprise, minimizing float across the business value chain and optimizing working capital, cash budget management. Funding management. Treasury management is also focused on loan management to reduce financial costs of a business enterprise which includes reducing the cost of borrowings, it is also focused on investment management by redeploying business cash flows efficiently and optimizing the risk return profile of investable surplus. Treasury function helps in managing the risk return profile 
as well as the tax efficiency of investment instruments in larger firms it may also include trading in bonds currencies and financial derivatives now we will study some of these functions in detail financial risk management the objective of financial risk management is to protect assets and cash flows from any risk treasury function works to accurately assess financial risks by identifying financial exposures including foreign exchange interest rate credit commodity and other enterprise risks and then try to manage the market based on those risks it must develop effective hedge strategies after gaining real time insight into a variety of risk positions that translates into less exposure you can differentiate between risks from changes to stock prices interest rates and exchange rates financial and market risks here the objective is to control and monitor the financial and market risks a company is exposed to treasury should identify explicit and implied financial risk credit risks and operational exposures and model risk mitigation strategies market risks result from the danger of negative market developments which in turn affect the financial assets of a company treasury system creates and maintains all the market data required to value financial instruments both real data and fictitious data to run scenarios some instruments that are exposed to market risks are bonds loans money market transactions forward rate agreements swaptions futures bond options and options on futures currency risk and foreign exchange risk arises when transaction is denominated in currency other than base currency or when foreign subsidiary maintains financial statements in currency other than reporting currency some instruments that are exposed to currency risks are forward exchange outstanding transactions and currency options commodity price risk refers to uncertainties of future market values and of the size of the future income caused by the fluctuation in the prices of commodities commodity risk management is to identify quantify and mitigate exposure to commodity price and foreign exchange risk robust analytics is used to understand risk positions in real time that reduces price risks resulting from core business operations with appropriate hedging interest rate risk risks that arise from bond owners from fluctuating interest rates it impacts bonds interest rate guarantees interest rate swaps and cross currency interest rate swaps regulatory compliance there is always an inherent risk that organization will not be able to comply with all relevant laws and regulations that may result in fines and penalties cash management and treasury the cash management component ensures that the enterprise has sufficient liquidity for payments that are due and to monitor payment flows the cash position and liquidity forecast functions are used to track the movements on the various accounts it is very important to correctly assess local and international liquidity needs and cash availability management of enterprises cash treasury function manages liquidity by accessing and using data from multiple systems and processes with centralized cash management at enterprise level there is greater transparency into global cash flow that helps in optimizing cash receipt and disbursement process to improve efficiencies central in house cash control reduces dependency on external funding and improves processes for transferring cash to operations worldwide position transparency and liquidity management is achieved through position management like central cash pooling 
cash and capital repatriation is also managed under treasury function management of working capital inventory forecast to fulfill analyze sales forecast processes and evaluate production and material execution plans receivables order to cash enterprise visibility and consistency throughout the order to cash process by generating value from credit and collections payables purchase to pay vendor payments management and analyze company expenditure and spending patterns cash budget management the objective of the cash budget management component is to monitor and secure liquidity in the medium to long term it delivers the actual and target figures for reviewing plans analyzing deviations and as a basis for future planning funding management by treasury the objective of investment management is to implement strategies that lead to the best borrowing rates and lower investment costs the debt and investment strategies should optimize capital structure by balancing trade offs for debt against equity risk and returns the treasurer uses the analysis of the current liquidity and risk situation to make decisions about future investments and borrowings taking the conditions on the financial markets into account loans management borrowing and lending in the form of loans is a key element of a company's liquidity and portfolio management some objectives of this component are to reduce financial costs of a business enterprise to reduce the cost of borrowings getting competitive rates on short term debt financing identify alternative funding solutions reduce banking costs investment management by gaining timely insight into available cash investment returns can be maximized and that translates into higher profits and faster growth drive additional value from surplus regional and consolidated cash redeploying surplus business cash flows efficiently reduce demand for cash investment policies and procedures risk return profile should be managed to optimize investable surplus tax efficiency of investment instruments should be monitored by identifying opportunities to reduce tax liabilities and maximize cash flows in larger firms treasury treasury function will also include trading in bonds currencies and financial derivatives how treasury function is organized although there is no straightforward answer to the question how to best organize a treasury function this slide provides a generic view of the way large mnc's create departments or sub functions within the treasury function centralization of treasury continues to be a clear trend and most organizations prefer a centralized treasury function treasury is mainly organized as a cost or service center and acts as a center of excellence in corporate finance some common sub functions are business treasury which often acts as a face to the different business pnl within the enterprise main responsibilities include deal structuring and integration hedging and match funding and cash consulting sometimes responsible for bank account management disbursement facilitation and cash management helps in temporary investment of the company's excess cash funding and exposure management which acts as the face to the market main responsibilities include raising debt both short term as well as long term and banking and securitization manages external funding and debt and also helps manage internal funding requirements by various business units through intercompany loans and transfers risk management centralization is ongoing of specially risk and cash management with broadening of responsibilities examples include group payments and collections insurance and group credit risks 
Main responsibilities of this department include risk management, asset and liability management, interest rate and currency hedging. Asset liability management by controlling interest rate and foreign exchange risks due to mismatches between assets and liabilities. Capital and liquidity. Main responsibilities include management of rating agency and regulatory relationships along with liquidity and capital management. Capital management to ensure various legal entities can cover unexpected losses. Liquidity management by monitoring and managing the liquidity profile of the enterprise. Investor and bank relations. Bank relationship strategies have become more sophisticated and a specialized department is generally responsible for managing enterprise communications. Main responsibilities include relation management, credit allocation, exposure and procurement management. Most organizations also have an enabling arm that is responsible for day-to-day -day operations, information technology, quality, trade management, etc. Treasury management systems. Treasury systems can provide a whole host of benefits to a corporate treasury. This slide explains various types of treasury management systems available in the market. Corporate treasury systems. Corporate treasury systems that cover issues such as debt management, risk management, cash pooling, corporate finance, etc. Cash flow management systems. These products enable companies to manage the flow of finance by monitoring and analyzing revenues and expenses. They provide tools for cash flow analysis and forecasting to ensure and maintain solvency and liquidity by helping improve the flow of finances. Debt management systems. Solutions and tools for the purpose of processing and managing the cost and risk characteristics of a debt portfolio while evaluating payments. Corporate finance systems. Software and services designed for managing corporate finances by analyzing data pertaining to funds, transactions, foreign exchange rates and market data. Deal capture systems. Software and systems that deal with processing and capturing financial trades and also provide real-time information such as news and prices to enable right decision making. Treasury Analytics System Analyze treasury data to find trends for the purpose of better asset management and improving cash liquidity. Benefits of Treasury Management Effectively using Treasury Management with cash management and trade finance products brings tangible benefits to both corporates and financial institutions. If managed properly, it can significantly reduce financial risk, ensure that enterprise has sufficient liquidity for payments that are due and to monitor payment flows and helps by implementing strategies that lead to the best borrowing rates and lower investment costs. Liquidity, that is working capital. Measuring, monitoring and managing cash flow to protect solvency, to establish good financial contract terms, ensuring that no excess working capital tied up in the business, arrangement for financing the supply chain, cross-border liquidity management. Funding, that is long-term finance. Creating an optimal mix of equity and debt to meet capital expenditure and investment requirements. Determination of the optimal capital structure and reduction in cost of capital through long-term fund raising activities. Financial risk management. Identifying potential risks and their impact and taking action to mitigate these. Expansion of credit to the end user while continuously de-risking from potential defaults. Structured hedging program. Integrating currency and commodity price risk management. <laughs>